So the first thing you want to do is save the NEI GPR data file that we provided to you in the course folder that you made on the hard drive of your computer. So what you need to do is open up the ties project that you started in your previous module. So we go to the start menu and we find ties view. We click on the OK button and we click open. And what should come up here is the most recent ties project that you have opened. And in my case, that's the every tribe az.tsp file. If it's not there, you should check your logbook to see what you named that project and where you put it, and then you can navigate to that project. So I'm going to click every tribe arizona.tsp, then click open. And the application credential screen comes up as usual. I type my password at capital T. E-I-S-S, -S. I click on the OK button, and the, the TICE project will open relatively quickly. So we see our map, and what you want to do when you have your TICE project open is go to the NEI button here, and click on it. Then you want to find Import EIS XML, and click on that. And that opens up the screen where you specify what XML files you want to import. So we're going to start with point sources. So I click first on the import point sources checkbox. And what that does is makes these buttons here become usable buttons. And this button here is where you specify what file you want to import. So you, it's like a browse button. So you click on that, and now you've got to find the, your, your folder on the hard drive of your computer that you saved the XML files in. So I'm going to do that on this computer, and this shows the XML files that are available for import. And what you have to do here is be careful that you import the correct file relevant to the tab that you have. So we're working on point, so we want to make sure we click select point here. If it turns out you selected the wrong one and then clicked on the open button, you'd get an error message there. So I'll click on point and click open. And this is important here in the import options. All locations is what's highlighted. So if you did all locations, that would import every single county that's included in that file. And if there are a lot of counties in the state, or if there are a lot of sources, that is going to take a lot of time. So what we recommend is importing no more than three counties at a time. Um, in this particular example, I'm just going to import one county. So I'm going to click Selected Locations. And then I'm going to find my county of entrance, which is Coconino County, and select that. So we're ready to proceed with the import, and I click on the import button. Now, depending on how fast your computer is, this might take up to 10 minutes if you have a lot of counties selected. All right, so everything got imported correctly, and when that is done, we get this import successfully completed, very reassuring message and we click on the OK button on that. Now you can see in Coconino County, Arizona, this is the big green area here, we can see that our point sources have been imported because they're the, they're the little blue squares on the map. We'll be going over more about how to manipulate your map in a future module.